Terry, I've always wondered about your evolution as a manager. One of the things I loved about the Mets hiring you when they did was that you were an old school guy, a fiery competitor, passionate guy, but hard nose, sometimes hard on the players. You evolved to where you became a player's manager and obviously had success. At what point did you realize you needed to evolve and change your style as a big league manager? Well, when I stepped down from the Angels, you know, we had a good team. We did pretty well in the NI. We had a real bad year in 99. And you know what? I, I take I, I consider I've always thought the players took on the personality of the manager. And yes, and I'm an intense guy and I care about the game and I only knew one way to play and that was all out. And so when I felt at times that I wasn't getting that kind of effort, I had I had something to say. And I think that I probably was a little did a little too much. Uh, I, I know I had one of my favorite players was, you know, Garrett Anderson, who told me, he said, you know, you're a little wound a little tight for me, but I, we all know one thing you want to win. And, and I, I took that to heart and said, if I ever get another chance, you know what, I'm going to enjoy it a little bit more and, and quit worrying about the results every night and, and worry about the process more of getting the players ready and letting them enjoy playing the game. Because it's difficult at that level, and especially in the city of New York, where the, pan, the fans are so passionate, they're so knowledgeable. You know what, you got to enjoy playing in New York City. Now I feel bad about mine because I feel like we're picking on Wilmer Flores, but I've always wondered, Terry, is Wilmer Flores the slowest player you ever managed? <laughs> uh, maybe Bartolo was. He wanted Bartolo might have been a little slower. But, uh, I, you know, I'll tell you one thing about Wilmer. You know, he stepped up big. You know, we didn't ask him to steal bases. We asked him to get hits, and he got a lot of big hits for us. I asked Rec one time if, if he would have uh, beat Wilmer in a race. Yeah, see, it's, you, it, it wouldn't have even been close. <laughs> he would never race me. Have. I asked him so many times, TC, and he would not race me. Rec, and he's smart. He would have been smart. <laughs> you, you could have had your equipment on and beat him. So I can tell you. He, he, uh, he, was, you know, he, did, he wasn't the swiftest guy, but I'll tell you, he, he loved to work at it. You know, when we moved him to first base, he just grabbed the glove and went out there. He, and, you know, a lot of times guys say, hey, look, they don't want to be embarrassed. And so he's going to go play a position that a lot of people think it's easy. Oh, yeah, he didn't go play. It's not. First base is tough. You got to move. You got to get to the bag. You got to turn your head away from the baseball sometimes. But, you know, he went about it the right way. I just had to get him closer to first than normal. <laughs> and he was a uh, great clutch hitter, loved being a New York Met, and every fan can appreciate that.